You know, I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, my favorite writer of the show is Dave Polsky. That's mainly due to his humor. I was really excited to see what he did for Season 5. However, last time, I felt like we got one of the most unfunny episodes we've seen in a while. This disappoints me because we go from one of the most unfunny episodes to one of the funniest and definitely one of my favorites. And it's not a Polsky episode. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's petty, shut up. So, we start this out with Dissy and Flutz having a tea party. Oh, Discord, I've never known any pony as funny as you. Jeez, hope Pinky's not eavesdropping. <laughs> she was. So, Fluttershy drops that she's made a new friend called Tree Hugger. Wow, with a name like that, you're destined to become a hippie. I wonder if there's a pony named Burnout somewhere. So, it turns out that Fluttershy invited Tree Hugger instead of Discord to the Grand Galloping Gala. And he's understandably upset. I mean, Discord's a bit of a child in a grown-up's body. Makes sense he'd throw a tantrum. So Discord goes to Spike and traumatizes him for information. I guess that's one way to get your morning boost. Wait, hold on. He was still sleeping in while everyone else was getting ready for things or having tea parties? Huh, guess he's more of a night owl. Wait. <laughs> this is gonna be the best night ever! Wow, total callback. Yep, this gal is marked for death. There's no place to hide now! And everyone's excited to go to the gala. Wow, did everyone suddenly forget that the gala sucks? Eh, then again, they know how to handle it if things get boring, so... Eh, can't complain. And they get plus ones as well? Why didn't that happen last time? Wow, I'm nitpicking the heck out of this. People might get the wrong idea. Then we cut to Discord asking Pinky to the gala, and we get an actually funny Metal Gear reference, and... Wait, what's that on the box? Those look like letters. And okay, finally we get Pinky and Discord interacting as friends. The past two times Discord brainwashed her and we never seen Pinky exchange more than a line or two with him. This is a full blown scene with them interacting and it is glorious. Around, I couldn't think of any pony and I was about to just Target go acquired. Oh, how rude of me. Tree hugger? This is Discord. Discord, tree hugger. Radical to meet you. Really digging your vibe. I'll have what she's having. So then we cut to holy crusty crab cakes. Where the heck are we? This looks like the ghost zone if it were dreamed up by Curse the Cowardly Dog. So, old Dissy gets his own pocket dimension where he can be himself. I thought he lived with Fluttershy, but huh, this is actually a lot cooler. So it turns out that Discord was invited after all, and why is this so late? Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the creepiest line delivery of the show. Excuse me a moment while I take this time to find my Celestia Prussia and whimper in the fetal position. I swear, male ponies in this are the equivalent of the Cabbage Man. They just exist to be abused. So we get to the gala and Discord appears to have brought a guest. Now, here's a question that I get a lot. Why do you avoid spoilers? Basically, I like to go into something without presumptions. Reason being, I personally feel that spoilers create unrealistic expectations. The tiniest details are always incredibly misleading, and frankly, I don't like being messed with. It's no different here. A while ago, someone, who will go unnamed for her protection, spoiled that this episode was going to feature Smooze, and that was all I knew. I grew up with the 1986 movie, which featured the Smooth being Shogoth, Devourer of Rainbows, so I obviously had some expectations. And what did I get? Gentleman Gak. See, this is why I hate spoilers. They ruin things for me. So Discord searches around and finds Fluttershy with Tree Hugger. Aura coming off the waterfall was so alive. So like magic manifestation. Every time this pony opens her mouth, I want to make a drug reference. What is she on? Discord tries to get Fluttershy's attention, but she appears to be deaf. You have met me before, actually. Cool. Like in another life, maybe? Wait, so ponies believe in reincarnation? Did, did we just get our first taste of religion in Equestria? Wow, I... It, it, whoa, it's a, that's a thing. So then Discord continuously acts like a child, which is certainly a stark contrast from Q. I mean, Q was just as all-powerful and petty, but he also had a degree of insight about him and was a bit of a troll teacher. Here, Discord's just acting more like an infantile version of Loki, or an insecure freakazoid. So it appears that Smooze is eating up everyone's jewels and he gets to Rarity. And Discord cleans her up and Rarity is shy about being naked? What is with this? Okay, maybe she just feels underdressed at the gala and maybe that's some sort of taboo or something, but I don't know. 
Oh, ponies don't usually wear clothes. What's with all the nudity jokes in this series? And I just realized what words came out of my mouth. <laughs> so, Discord is so desperate for attention, he tries stand-up comedy and fails miserably. You're supposed to say who's there! This is the most basic of jokes! You're the most basic of jokes. Ooh! Ooh! You just got burned! worth it. So then we get a reference to The Shining. Here's Smoothie! And the smooth comes out and starts sliming everyone and there's nothing anyone can do to prevent it. Nothing can stop the- Still worth it. So then Tree Hunger imitates the mating call of a whale and that somehow gets the smooth to calm down. This doesn't please Discord as he opens up another dimension to throw Tree Hunger in. It's obviously something the writers have been dying to do for a long time. So then it's revealed how, what's the word, new Discord is to the whole friendship thing? He's never realized that you can have more than one friend and your friends are allowed to hang out with other people. It's a rather basic lesson, but I've known some kids that have needed to learn it. And we find that Celestia invited Discord to sabotage the party. Goodness, does she really hate boredom that much? Well, centuries worth of stuffy nobles hosting parties would certainly get grating. It also might explain why she couldn't stop the smooths. Maybe she didn't want to? Or that's just because her hooves were stuck and she couldn't wipe it off. Or I'm taking this too seriously.